Hello, everyone. My name is Adam Weeks. I'm from the WebEx Developer Evangelism team. I'm here to, today to show you about a new exciting feature we've got for embedded app developers. This has been a long requested feature of being able to control who within your organization can access your embedded apps. And for this, we have a, a new API that's for, that's for the groups uh, within your organization. So now you can categorize your users into groups within your organization and say specific groups have access to that embedded app. Now, unfortunately, this is such a bleeding edge feature that we don't have the ability to edit our groups in Control Hub, but we do have an API for it. So I wanted to show you how you can go through, create your groups and add your members to the groups through our APIs. We'll start off here on the developer portal. One thing I did want to note is that even if you aren't a, an admin of a WebEx org, you can get your own specifically through the developer sandbox. And if you go into the developer sandbox and request a sandbox for yourself, you will get your own organization. that You can log in as an administrator. And I've got my own right here. I'm going to work, walk through how to go about setting up a group, adding a user to it, and then setting up the controls within the control hub for who can have access to it. So I'm going to scroll down over here on the left side under the APIs. I'm going to go to our full API reference and find the groups APIs. From here, all you have to do is on the post method, you can create a group. So I'm going to create a group here. I'm going to give it a name to say demo group. And you can add your members just like the format that's displayed here. I'm going to add myself as a member of this group. And let's see, it's bracket colon ID. And this is the fully encoded ID that you see from the rest of our APIs when you get from people APIs. I'm going to run this request. See that the group was created and it has an ID. If I want to take a look at this group to verify to make sure I got the users added to it, I can do get group members over here on the left, which is another get request. So I'm going to load that page up, put the group ID in here, hit run. And it looks like I did not add them correctly. So let's go ahead and update the group with the group ID. And I want to add Add. And run. There we go. Now we see that my user has been added to that group. If we go fetch again. We should see the members actually showing up this time. Apologies for the fat finger on that one. And yes, we see we've got one member of the group here. So now if we switch over to the control hub. So switching over here to control hub, if we go into apps and embedded apps, we can see the list of our apps that we've got approved for our organization. I have one private app I'm going to switch and change to select groups. And in the group here now is my demo group that I just created. And now it's assigned correctly. So now the only the people that are within this groups are able to see this embedded app. Really excited to release this feature to you and hope you find it useful. If you need to contact us, or we have a great developer support team you can reach out to developer.webex.com support. Thank you.